Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. It's been a little while since we last played with this game, but last time we built this thing. Our very, very cool Ferrari that I managed to crash within seconds of finishing the car. It was awesome. But today, we're building something a little bit newer. Hello! I forgot we had that in this game. As cool as the PLP50 is, it's not what we're working on. This, however, is... I don't know if you can tell what it is by those headlights. I will say none of these cars actually look like this just yet. In 20 years or so, we will probably find some of the brand new Toyota Supras in a junkyard looking maybe like this. So say hello to the A90 Toyota Supra. This is what I wanted to work on today. It is super cool. I wanted to give it a go. It has 7,000 miles on the thing. Apparently, it's yellow. Uh, they want $42,000 for it. That's not bad. And it actually has basically en every engine swap available for the thing. We can get real creative with this. I'm just saying there's a V8 in this one. I guess the person who had this before had no style. So the V8's obviously got to go. So yeah, we got we to gotta fix this thing up. So let's send it over to our lift and we will get working on our Supra. Let's get this ugly, nasty, rusty nastiness off of here. Oh, we do have a rear wing. Oh. I don't know how much customization we can do to this thing because obviously we've got a modified hood, right? It's uh, definitely seen better days. There's a bunch of scratches in that, but we'll ditch that. We'll find a new one. It's looking clean, I must say. Get rid of those headlights. We'll get some brand new ones for the car and let's take everything off first. Engine, gearbox, wheels, all of it's got to go. Maybe the only thing we won't rebuild today will be suspension. But yeah, so it's been a little while since I've played this, but I wanted to come back. I saw this mod get added in and I was like, yes. I've never actually used the new Supra in any game before. And I was like, okay, we need to give it a go in this. Even though it's not going to be like for the driving, it's going to be more for just like the mucking about with it. I think it'll still be fun. Engine, you got to go. Pull out game is strong. Goodbye. All right, we're looking good. All right, where's my fuel tank in here? I assume it's, yep, there we go. At the back. Perfect. It's gone, and uh, last but not least, exhaust. You gotta go as well, the whole thing. If we open up, nope, that's that's not the right thing. If we open up this, car status, swap options. This is where you can see all the engine swaps that we have available. Literally every engine you can toss into this thing. Like obviously the new Super has what, a straight six? Right? It's a turbo straight six, which I, I mean, I could toss this this straight six in. I could always toss a rotary in. That w Oh, they have only like 100, 105 horsepower. I guess I'll go with this then. Straight six, 250 horsepower. It's kind like the new super is turbocharged. The old one was twin turbocharged. So if we're going to go with a straight six, then I'm going to do what I've been doing recently. I'm going to head to the auto show, or wait, what's it called? And I'm going to buy a car with that engine that's already in it. Basically, it means that I don't need to build my own engine. I think we'll come back to the engine in a little bit. For the moment, let's make the Supra look like a Supra. Uh, we need a bunch of body panels. So if I type in here, Supra, this will give me everything. I basically need engine, engine cover. Oh... We'll get into that in a in a bit when we get the engine swapped in. Okay, we've got different front bumpers as well, though. Look at them all. We've got, like, super race car stuff or, like, normal parts as well. Then we have all these different grills as well. Yo, okay, this is sick. Yo, look at all the hoods. We have so many. We've got a carbon fiber hood. That's pretty dope. We've got even different headlights with blue. Yes. I, I don't even know what I've bought or what I haven't bought. I'm just buying, like, basically one of everything. Oh my god, look at all the rear wings. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, Car Mechanic Simulator is not a game that's known for its customization. Like, look at that. We've got this hood with, like, red stripes on it. I think the car's gotta be red. Okay, this is sick. This is not normal for this game. Look at the headlights. Wait, what? Wait, that one didn't work. Where did that headlight go? Oh no, this hood is disgusting. No, I can't have a hood like that. No, no, no. You gotta go. How does this one look? 
Yo, what? What is that? Okay, I can't find a nice hood for this car, so I'm sorry it's a little boring, but we're going stock. Oh, I gotta ditch these old tail lights too. My bad. Tail light, goodbye. Tail light, goodbye. Assemble mode. New tail light in. New tail light in. And our very, very race car bumper. Oh my god. With our huge rear wing. Yup. Alright, so I think that's everything in terms of our body panels swapped on. We just need a little left body window. Okay. And then I just gotta, I gotta figure out this headlight issue. Your wing mirrors are different, are they? Oh, that one I do have carbon fiber. Good spot. Very good spot. Take that off. Assemble. I actually own the other one. There we go. That one's carbon fiber. That's what I wanted. All right, perfect. Now I gotta do this headlight. Please work. Red one? What? All right, that's really annoying. So the only one that works is the black. Oh, man. I guess we'll do painting after. I guess it's time to focus on that engine because it's, uh, well, it, it, it doesn't exist. Uh, we agreed straight six, right? So let's go find a car that has a straight six. Oh, oh my God. God! <gasps> and it has the straight six in it! Donor Supra! Thank you! <laughs> what a- what- how lucky is that? Too bad you can't ruin a car that has already been ruined by the company who makes it. Shots fired! So, straight six, you are coming out of the do- <sighs> Every time I always forget something. We need to pull out. Perfect. Now you move over to car lifter B. Perfect. And we can go install the, uh, where is it? Here. Perfect condition. Straight six. Chuck it in. I don't think that's where that's supposed to go. All right. Um, interesting. No, no, no. Come back. Oh. All right. Well, we'll put the oil pan on. Whatever. It's like that engine is not where that's supposed to be. Like, it's in my suspension. So what Maserati has a straight six in it? Oh yeah, it totally does say Maserati in really, really big letters. Yep, I, I should have I should have caught on to that one. I just don't know what Maserati has a straight six. I guess it's like a, a Ghibli? All right, well, manifolds, get them in. We'll try not to blow them a la Fast and Furious. I'm just gonna break some more rules. We're gonna take our ABS stuff. All of, oh my God, that's a lot of screws. Okay, this car is so glitchy, yo. It's so glitchy. I'm trying to put, there we go. Finally, thank no, no. Uh huh. Here we go. Intercooler. Finally. Oh, okay. We need a large radi or a radiator A. Okay, here we go. Yo, I'm just saying, you have no idea the OCD that's going on with this engine being the wrong direction. Before people start saying you can put engines in a car sideways, I know it's just not supposed to be like that in this car. <laughs> I guess we should toss it back on like the flywheel and everything okay this is even more broken than the plp 50 that we built chuck it on middle muffler thank you oh there's the drive shaft very good very good very good all right pretend it's actually connected to something up there that'd be great the game thinks my supra is still a v8 yo i i can't imagine working on this car seriously just just because of all of this it's just like Nah. There's so many things that are in the wrong position. Like, like, what is that even? So that's my exhaust. And then it's suddenly my exhaust starts here and I have two. And then it goes all the way to the back. All right, anyways, we need wheels. I, I mean, maybe I'll just change the brakes so they just look a little better. We won't go and change all of the suspension because I'm scared that if I do, it's just all gonna go and it's just... Nah. Guys, this is the most scuffed build we've ever had of one of these cars. So we need some wheels. For the super and then we can get the thing painted and then we can actually focus on uh on what it looks like because it's not looking good tires i guess we'll go uh we only have like 200 horsepower so i guess i'll just go sport tires as a mechanic nick's complete ineptitude is draining my world to live wouldn't be the first time that's happened while playing this game when the raptor bumpers went on we didn't take as many shortcuts as we're doing right now just uh just a heads up. Here we go. Hopefully they look nice. Hopefully they've got a little bit of poke. We'll see. I didn't actually compare them with what they were before. Let's see. Ooh, the fitment's good. Jack's like surprised this car made it already. It's very clear that this car was rushed in. Pay no attention to my engine facing the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, that's what you got to remember. Uh, let's just put some oil in. That's that's not oil. Well, I mean, we're not, we're not doing bad. It's just the Supra's just kind of not 
finished in the game, if I'm honest. All right, now here's something really, really cool you can do. You can swap any engine you want into this car, right? Which is really cool. But then if you go over to the community body shops part, you type in super again, you'll notice that there's different engine covers. These engine covers are from actual cars. So if like we take this one and uh, this one looks kind of cool as well. I don't even know what they're from. Engine cover. There we go. Okay. So we've got we've got a, uh, a couple different engine covers. If I swap this one on, there you go. How sick does that look? It kind of covers up all the issues we were having before. So you got to go to your front window, assemble mode. Then you come down to your engine cover. You could toss this one on. Oh, very cool. Okay, I like it. You guys want the 2JZ? It looks, it looks pretty good. I must admit. All right, hood, close that down. Now, we need to figure out this headlight situation. So you guys were saying it will fix itself. Blue headlight, it will fix itself when we're driving. And then the front bumper, I can toss the really race car one on. Because again, it should, it should sort of work. All right, now uh, bring the super down and we'll give it a paint job. Paint job, paint the car. Um, I, I feel like with the red... Or with the red, like, trim we've got on the car. I feel like it'd look really, really good in red. I, I like the matte red. The matte red's pretty cool. Let's do it. Yo, actually, with our blue headlights, it's gonna look kind of funky. But whatever. We should be okay. All right. I just need to go fix the starter. That's what I need. Very good. Gotta take the engine cover off. Yeah. I guess that's a thing that you'd actually need to do in real life. You'd actually need to take the engine cover off every time you want to do something. Okay, is there anything that's actually missing? We need to move you over to our entrance, please. Thank you. Yo, the blue headlights, I really, really like. Okay, so we just got to finish up the interior. So we've got the we've got the trim all in. We just need another chair for it, basically. Interior, disassemble, interior, assemble. Front right seat, very good. Oh, it's actually a Maserati seat. I didn't realize that before. Okay, it does look pretty cool. I will give it that. All right, so we got Toyota logo there. BMW logo there and a Maserati logo on the seats. No way this is actually gonna work. Oh Yeah, how do we get the ABS module in here? Like it should be right over here But I can't put it there. Don't know where oh, oh, oh ABS pump. Okay, that is see what I mean by this car is kind of broken That's exactly what I mean It doesn't work for sure. You could go in and rebuild the entire thing and you could have a perfect perfect Supra, but it's just so broken and so frustrating inducing. It's not even funny All right, so this should work now. Please don't make me cry super. Oh, oh no my worst enemy oh, I hate I hate these clips. You have no idea the the hatred I have for these They don't even do anything in real life that much. You don't really need them. I'm just saying oh there the cover Yeah Always forget to put the engine cover on can we drive? Yes! <laughs> Super, do we have the proper headlight? Yes! Whoever told me that was not lying. The 2020 Supra. Give it a carbon hood and black taillights. Yo, the black taillights would actually be a good look for this now. And yeah, the carbon hood as well, maybe. I'm almost thinking maybe get rid of the big rear wing. Because it does look cool, but... Eh. I feel like... We definitely should have swapped in a V12 into this. Done everything to make the V12 work. And then we could have put the 2JZ cover on it. I feel like that would have been a lot better because then we would have had some actual performance. Okay, hold on. Back to the garage. We have some things to fix. All right, this Supra. Actually, let's send you off to the dyno. How much horsepower do you actually have? It says we should have 280 horsepower. We might have more than that. We might have less. I would imagine we would have exactly that because we bought the engine. No, we lost horsepower. Looking good is more important than actually being able to drive. So, I mean, we'll, we'll figure it out. You got to go as well because let's be honest, you're a bit, eh, you're a bit boring. We actually had the black tail lights in before, but we will toss them in again. I think that looks more mean. I like that. Let's get rid of this trunk as well. I feel like it's a little much. Yo, a lot of the trunks have rear wings. That's the problem. There's one with a huge... I just want to see what that looks like. Huge wing. I think we might rock no wing though. Let's see that huge rear wing first. Just out of interest. Oh, it's actually exactly the same as before. Yeah, I think, I think honestly, no rear wing looks better. Like the rear wing's cool, but I feel like it's just kind of over the top. That... If it didn't have these ugly intakes, 
That would have been perfect. But that's got to go as well now. God damn it. Everybody's saying they want the big wing back. Okay, so literally all we've changed is the taillights. Okay. I mean, the Supra looks pretty good. It's just I'm disappointed in the way it drives just because we want it to be authentic by putting in not a v8 or v12 but i mean overall we've actually done pretty good it's just like our suspension that would need work global body conditions nearly perfect it's worth 200 grand no way i'll say in terms of looks this thing looks so sick i will be honest the normal supra kind of a little boring just with the addition of the rear wing black wheels and a little front splitter and it's low Oh, we didn't even have to go wide body. We didn't have to go over the top with it. It's just basic little mods that I feel like make it look so cool. Yeah, this is the problem though. It's just slow. The max speed of the Supra with this engine is 104 miles an hour. The Supra or the Toyota logo, I should say, doesn't actually turn when you turn. Um, okay. I will say overall, I think this mod needs a lot of work. Like, the way our engine was completely the wrong way, the way our heads lights were glitching out before. Like, it's a really, really cool car and looks really good. It's just, it's like, in terms of fixing the car, eh.